Hello Dippy Dinos, welcome back to the Dinosaur Toy Vlog YouTube channel. I have a very little thing to open today, a gift from Dino Toy Forum member Libra Raptor. He sent me many gifts over the years, so I can't thank him enough really. Well, let's just get straight into it. And I do know what this is going to be. It is... Oh, it's much smaller than I thought. That's just, this is interesting. It's a Chrono Sausage Saurus. This says, wow, well, look, it's, uh, I, I'm just really surprised. <laughs> it's really rubbery as well. Anyway, let's get into look at the details. This is a cool dino figure, dinosaur figure, figurine dinosaur, blah, blah, blah by a company called Moses. So this I had not heard about until Libra Raptor posted a picture of this on the forum. Even though he included the scale bar, you can never tell really until you hold something in your hands. And so this is a really cute and curious little thing. Let's take this off and have a proper look. Now he did tell me where this was from a museum shop in Germany the Haus Hovener museum shop in Brilon or Brilon in Germany and the reason why I call it the Chrono Sausage Saurus is because it is obviously aping the Carnegie Chronosaurus which is much larger, and we'll compare in a minute, which has a very tubular sausage-shaped body. So there is also a card in here. So, dear Adam, just want to let you know how much I enjoy being part of the DTF still 10 years. My little gift may soon find friends in your collection and remember you at the crazy German Lieberapter. It's so good to know you. Kindest regards, Stefan. Well, thank you, Stefan. And I can tell you with certainty that this little fellow is going to find some friends. And those friends are the other two Chrono Sausage Sauruses. So here's the teeny weeny one by Moses. Are there any markings on it before we move on? Let's see. Uh, there's a number on the underside of the flipper. Just says number six and, and China. Will it focus? Yeah, China on the front right flipper. Okay, so let's compare with the original. This is the original Carnegie Chronosaurus. I think it's been reviewed. I might have reviewed this on the Dinosaur Toy Blog, in fact. And it's not so good. It's obviously based on the Harvard Chronosaurus skeleton which has many errors which is why it's nicknamed as the Plastosaurus. One of the main errors in this figure is the position of the eyes which are way too far back in the post-temporal fenestrae. They should really be halfway along the skull in a Chronosaurus. Now having said that if you look at the position of the eyes in this Chronosaurus they are halfway along the skull. So it's got something right even though it's very, very obviously based on the original Carnegie sculpt. They've made an improvement, believe it or not. So that's something to go for it. It's not the only figure that's been inspired by the original Carnegie Chronosaurus. There's also this version. This is the Salvat Chronosaurus. I don't know if you can technically say that this is a knockoff because it, it's still a, 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 a unique sculpt, a lot like this one really. It's inspired by it, it's obviously copying it, but is it trying to pretend that it is a Carnegie figure? No, it's not. And so I think that these three different figures, they all have their own unique identity, even if they're obviously inspired by one another. So curious the size difference so the original Carnegie much bigger than the Salvat which is medium size 
Um, I've never really inspected this Albat in much detail, so let's do that now. Um, the eyes are too far back, of course. Um, there doesn't seem to be any nostrils sculpted on the Salvat figure. Um, yeah, but it's got that distinct sausage shape. And there you go, there's all the details. Chronosaurus, 9 metres long, made in China. Salvat Editores. So that's the medium sized one. And now, adding to the, the family, we've got Daddy, Mummy and Baby. Chrono Sausage Saurus. I think they make a very nice trio and they'll be a happy family for many, many years to come. Until next time, thank you very much again, Libra Raptor. Take care.